I'm Natasha Chung and I was diagnosed with breast cancer. My husband and I have been together for most of our lives. Yeah, very much soulmate. I've got three amazing boys, just very, very tight family. Life was actually really good, just always busy, non-stop, but yeah, I couldn't complain. Things were good. At the beginning, I actually thought it was like an ingrown hair. Wouldn't budge after a couple of weeks, so that's when I made an appointment to go and see my GP. My GP organised the mammogram and ultrasound for me, and then within 24 hours, the results had come back and she had organised an urgent biopsy. Within two days, I got a phone call from her office asking to see me and to bring my husband with me, at which time she told me I had breast cancer. I had a lumpectomy within that week and the moment my drains were out after my lumpectomy, I basically started chemo. I don't think there's any words to describe what you go through when you go through chemo. Everybody knows that you get really sick, but I literally wasn't able to get up. Lost all my hair, wasn't able to eat, developed ulcers in my mouth, and then was booked in for a bilateral mastectomy, at which time I ended up having four surgeries. I found out about breast cancer care WA through one of my oncology nurses. She obviously knew that I was going to need some help navigating the journey. And Karen, my nurse, and Holly, my counsellor, have been a godsend. Even if someone has fantastic support from family and friends, they often still feel very isolated in their experience. Breast cancer treatment does go on or can go on for a long time. So often people find they have great support for a certain period of time after diagnosis and then that gradually reduces. So we can allow for that ongoing support. Karen is such a wealth of information. She prepares me for the questions that I need to ask when I see my specialist, whether it be my breast surgeon, my chemo oncologist, my neurologist, my physio, um, you know, and then after appointment, she wants to know how it went. She is seriously an angel and has made my whole journey 200% much easier than having to try and navigate that by myself. And Holly is the same. Holly kept me sane. She was who I was able to talk to, to vent to, to cry with. She gave me insight into how I could deal with things, trying to keep things normal at home as well with my boys. For me to actually tell them and use the words breast cancer, you would never want any mum to have to share that news with your kids because the reaction that you get back um, is definitely something that you can't prepare for. The counselling space allows clients the time to um, practice having those difficult conversations. We work with them to use the right language for their children, being honest with their children and family about what's going on for them. All the money donated to Breast Cancer Care WA is used to provide free, personalised support to our clients. So that support could be breast care nursing support, counselling support, support groups and workshops, and financial and practical support. I won't lie, there are definitely moments when you're going through treatment where you just go, oh my God, I cannot do this anymore. You know, when even lifting your head up off your pillow becomes really hard. And so for me, I had to remind myself why it was that I was fighting, but having all that support around me was also what got me through. <laughs>